The movie starts with Yuri Gordiev, a talented aircraft designer, creator of the innovative UG-1 aircraft and womanizer, heating up the engine of his new model for a test flight. He plans to show the capabilities of the aircraft at the upcoming air show in Zhukovsky, Russia. It's revealed that Yuri has been working on the new model of the UG-1 aircraft for more than 10 years. Only a week remains before its grandiose presentation. He believes that his design is on the verge of extreme success in Russia and will win a government contract. While he and his co-pilot Gen are ready to take off, they get notified that a French journalist has evaded security to exclusively interview the eminent aircraft designer. Yuri immediately realizes that the journalist is none other than one of his mistresses. So he kicks Gen out and invites the mistress instead. Soon after they take off, Gen enters the air traffic controller room and gets a distressing call from the headquarters, warning Yuri to land the aircraft as it is illegal to fly without a co-pilot. Suddenly, Yuri's wife, Lena, arrives at the scene, having learned about her husband's situation. Gen then contacts Yuri and lets him talk with his wife, who is worried sick. Meanwhile, Yuri pretends to be alone in the aircraft and assures her that he will land soon. After the phone call, he clutches his mistress's body with a parachute, kisses her, and then tells her to land safely. After he's alone on the aircraft, Yuri safely lands it on the runway, where he is greeted by his wife. Elsewhere in town, Vanya Kuznetsov, an eighth grader who suffers from his mother's excessive guardianship, is driven to school by her. It turns out he has a massive crush on a classmate named Polin. On the way, his mother assures him to be confident so that no one would dare to touch him. But for poor Vanya, it is just the opposite case as he is often bullied at school. In the meantime, Yuri heads to a bar with Gen to celebrate his successful flight test. He tells his friend that he cannot wait to launch his dream project and claim the government's tender. Just then, his competitor Paul arrives at the bar and provokes him. As a result, the two challenge each other to a game of chess. But instead of chess pieces, they play it with shots. And each time a player loses, he has to take the shot. Unfortunately for Yuri, he loses every attempt, so he has to drink alcohol continuously. Not long after, he starts to become tipsy and speaks gibberish. Just when he's about to leave the bar, Lena arrives at the front door and hurries him home. Because Yuri is too drunk to drive, she confiscates his car keys and urges him to get inside her fancy vehicle. However, Yuri grabs Gen's car keys instead and drives away, while still in a state of intoxication. While speeding up the car, he calls the French mistress from earlier and asks to meet him. Suddenly, Yuri loses control of the vehicle and crashes against a tunnel wall. He dies on the spot and immediately turns into a ghost. But Yuri doesn't realize that he is dead and instead walks up to the hospital. There, he sees Lena, who has just been informed about her husband's death. Yuri follows her, but she doesn't respond to him, obviously, because he's a ghost and he cannot be seen. Confused, Yuri follows Lena to the car and believes that she is apparently angry with him. On the way, he apologizes to her and promises to always listen to her. Soon after, they arrive at Yuri's office and he casually walks inside the building. He goes straight inside his office room, thinking it to be just another day for him. Just then, a couple starts making out in his office, which clearly irritates him. When the couple fails to listen to his orders, Yuri pushes them away, only to find his hand actually passes through them. Shocked, Yuri tries one more time and learns that he is apparently not in a solid form. To test it even more, he walks through the walls, through computers, and random objects. By now, Yuri is completely confused, as he cannot surmise what is happening to him. Only when he sees a photo of himself hanging in the main room with heartfelt condolences does he realize that he is actually dead. Heartbroken and frustrated at the same time, Yuri self-criticizes himself as the air show where he was about to launch his new model was just a week away. He later goes to his own funeral, attended by Lena, Gen, and close ones. Much to his surprise, his competitor Paul is also present who secretly asks Lena to have Yuri's contract revoked for the tender. Lena, who is still in shock, says she will think about it. Disoriented by the realization of his death, Yuri walks in the middle of the road as cars pass through him. In the meantime, Vanya is pranked at school by his classmates, who have destroyed the poor kid's bike brakes. 
As a result, when he gets on his bike and pedals it downhill, he loses control. At this time, Yuri is seen walking from the opposite direction and Vanya crashes into him. For some unknown reason, Vanya seems to be able to see and touch Yuri. The innocent kid apologizes for crashing into Yuri, who is completely taken by surprise, because at least there's someone who can see him and with whom he can talk. Yuri then double checks by asking the kid if he can see him. He also reveals that he's actually a ghost. Hearing his words, Vanya is absolutely terrified, so he flees and gets into a local bus. Yuri follows him with his newfound ghost ability and gets inside the bus. When Vanya sees Yuri casually passing through the vehicle, he screams horrifically, while other passengers stare dead at the poor kid's face. After this, Vanya hurriedly gets inside his house and into his room, and then Googles for online exorcism. Yuri, who has followed the teenager to his room, tries to calm him down, but Vanya is too scared of this mysterious ghost. The teenager, who is now scared to death, musters his courage and asks Yuri to leave him be. By this time, Vanya's mother overhears him talking alone, and although Vanya tries to convince her that there's a ghost in his room, she believes he is mentally sick. As a result, she takes him to a psychologist for counseling. The doctor examines Vanya and mistakenly diagnoses him with schizophrenia. Yuri continues to follow Vanya to class as he realizes that the boy is the only chance to finish the UG1 project. He finally manages to get the teenager's attention when he helps him with a lesson in physics and dynamics. Vanya then agrees to help back Yuri and the two go to the latter's office building. They enter a meeting for the upcoming air show, but Yuri sadly finds out that his competitor Paul has very quickly taken advantage of the tragedy. It turns out that Paul's aircraft will be parading in the air show while Yuri's project is recognized as unfinished. What's more is the French journalist who was in the plane with Yuri during the test flight testifies for Paul and reveals that they were drinking alcohol on board. Therefore, authorities soon demand a black box to be handed over by Yuri's company in order to carry out further investigation. Hearing this, Yuri urges Vanya to speak on his behalf. But the poor kid is too scared of public speaking, so he fails to utter a word. However, Yuri himself does not intend to give up easily to realize his dreams. The next day, Vanya is once again pranked at school as his awkward dancing video goes viral on social media. Yuri then comes up with a plan to help the kid with his problems at school, which also includes winning over Poland's heart. Soon enough, the unlikely duo joins forces to solve each other's problems. Vanya is the only person who can help Yuri save his career and his company, and Yuri is the only person who can help Vanya become more self-possessed and confident. In the next scene, Yuri teaches Vanya his ways to approach a girl and even provides the kid with some lessons on public speaking. Not long after, Vanya gets the attention of his girl Polin, who invites him to her birthday party. Arriving at the party, the teenager surprises Polin with a beautiful photo of her during the sunset hours, impressing her. But he takes things too quickly and leans in to kiss her, only to be slapped in the face. Poor Vanya just had the time of his life, which slipped away in a matter of moments. That evening, Yuri and Vanya sneak into the airport, where the former's plane is kept. They then manage to get the black box from inside the aircraft. Suddenly, they hear the sound of a vehicle approaching. It turns out that the plane is being hijacked by Paul's men. While Vanya and Yuri are still inside it, the hijacker tugs the aircraft with the help of his van and drives it away on the open road. However, Yuri is determined not to let his dream project get stolen so easily, so he instructs Vanya to start the engine. The teenager, who has no prior driving skills, tries his best to gear up the aircraft and the two successfully manage to get it back safely and hide it in a warehouse. After this, Yuri makes Vanya text again about the incident, asking him to meet tomorrow at school. The following day, Vanya and Gen meet at the men's washroom at school and Gen is convinced that the little kid is possessed by Yuri. Just when Vanya is about to hand over the black box to Gen, Yuri notices something strange. It turns out that Gen is now working for Paul, who has offered him the title of Director of Operations. With this realization, Yuri quickly alerts Vanya to run away, but Gen manages to get hold of the kid. After a tough tussle between the two, Vanya gets inside one of the toiletries and starts repeating Yuri's words. 
With the help of the kid, Yuri makes his friend Gen realize how important the project was for the two of them, which they had been working on for more than 10 years. But Gen gets back to him, calling out Yuri's notorious habit of spending money on champagne and women, which is why they had to live only on dry fruits for months during their training. The two call out on their differences just when a cleaner lady arrives at the scene. Using her as a distraction, Vanya then manages to escape from the washroom. However, Gen continues to chase after the teenager, who ultimately finds himself hanging on the ledge of a window. What's worse is Vanya is extremely afraid of heights. Soon after, the paramedics and help team arrive below and advise Vanya to jump on the safety net. They apparently believe the teenager is about to take his own life. Vanya is stuck on the ledge as Gen is clasping on the window trying to get to him. It is only when Poland grabs a mic, confesses her love for him, and invites him to a dance that Vanya musters some courage and jumps off the window ledge to safely land on the net below. Sadly, unbeknownst to him, Poland only confessed so that he would jump off the ledge and save his life. But Vanya, who believes the girl of his dreams finally likes him back, suddenly finds himself to be a changed man, as he is no more afraid of heights. After confidently telling Poland that he will see her at the dance during the weekend, Vanya goes with Yuri to practice driving. For the next couple of days, Yuri trains Vanya to steer an aircraft's engine with the help of a prop and also gives him lessons in flying. In the meantime, Vanya's mother finds out that he's been skipping school for days now. Therefore, the teenager is grounded and locked in his room. Since it is the dance day at school with Poland, and also the day he and Yuri will be flying to Zukovsky for the air show, Vanya sneaks out through the window with the help of a rope made from his clothes. Arriving at school, he excitedly approaches Poland to dance, but sadly, he is slammed with bitter truth on his face. A bully who also likes Poland reveals that she only invited Vanya earlier out of pity. Meanwhile, Poland does seem to feel bad about herself. Heartbroken, Vanya tries to at least fix Yuri's problems, so he leaves the school and heads straight to the secret warehouse where the aircraft is kept. Under the instructions of Yuri, he starts the engine, and although he barely gets control of the aircraft at the beginning, he eventually manages to get a hold of it. The duo then successfully lands the aircraft in Zukovsky, where the air show is currently happening. The sight of Yuri's new model takes Paul and the media completely by surprise. After safely landing it, Vanya gets out of the aircraft and is hoarded by the incoming reporters. Gen, who is also present at the show, realizes his mistake and apologizes to Vanya. In the meantime, Yuri, having finally realized his dream, decides to depart Earth for good. However, Vanya has started seeing him as a father figure and is not ready to let go of Yuri just yet. They then embrace each other one last time and exchange a warm farewell. The final scene of the movie shows Vanya being approached by Poland as she apologizes for ignoring him the other day. However, she did realize she actually likes him. Overjoyed, Vanya asks her out on a date, to which she excitedly agrees. <laughs>